A little pointer here is something you want to make sure you don't forget is when you do go in to load your settings from your laptop, first you need to change the settings on the relay for your setting mode. Uh, from, from the factory, by default, it comes with 10IS and local language. You want to, well, in our case, we want English and we need to change the settings to TMS. And this is how you do it. Hopefully everything will focus up here good on the relay. This is the procedure for changing the setting mode uh, from the factory. It'll be 10IS and local language. In this case, we want to change it to English and TMS. To do that. Of course, we have errors on here because there's no settings in this relay yet. Push the little icon button there twice. General. Enter. Back to that button. Tell you what software to use. One more time. This brings this screen up. You want to change this to English and TMS. That little key will come up. You push the little key button here. Push the enter button five times. Down one, hit apply. Back to your button there. Okay, now we can go back. Oop. Select English. Scroll over to TMS. Hit apply. You're all set. Now something you need to remember before you go back into putting your relay settings in and connecting your laptop is to let this time out for at least five minutes. If you do try to connect while you still have the key access, uh, through, by entering the password manually, it will not connect. Okay, the question comes up, you know, why do we need to worry about this setting mode and why do we need to change it on the relay? Here is a reason why. Uh, when you're in your setup software in the SFT2841, you've got your relay open, you go up here to options, and then setting mode. It'll by default, that's at 10 IS. For what we do here in North America, for all the jobs I've been working on, this needs to be TMS. You hit apply. That will allow you to enter your settings with the proper curves and everything as you go into your protection settings. Well, one of the little quirks about the uh, CPAM system is even though you have changed this in the software, when you load the settings, it will not change it on the relay. That has to be manually done. I've run into this time after time. Uh, I don't know why this is. I've never really gotten an explanation from tech support other than saying, well, it should change. Well, I could say it doesn't. It's always a good idea to double check that. Uh, the other thing, too, is when you first start up your new relay, it may be in French, which is another adventure entirely in getting it back to English. But it usually say local language. Um, here in the United States, we obviously want to have it English, so we always change that at the same time we're doing the setting mode change. Just don't forget to do this. I hope all of that made sense on changing your uh, setting mode. It's very important to remember to do that because if you don't, it'll throw your trip curves off. This is uh, one of the things they do when they do perform factory acceptance testing quite often, although this can be done on site, but it's very important not to forget to do it. Thank you.